There's probably... Oh, let's check here, but I don't think there'll be anything useful here. No, none of them are here. So let's just check those things here. I don't think there'll be too many things to do. Let's sit on our tops. Okay, view game. They don't have a name here. Oh, 100 base. Hurting rights. Oh, thing G is busy near one shoot in. Okay, so let's go there. Hmm. Is there another one? Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. cool. Oh, hey, that's nice. It shouldn't be too difficult, what are you doing? I'm setting up the game I'm responsible for. Have you heard of 100 base hurling rights? You want me to conduct a bunch of rights to chuck things long distance? You are very perceptive and you got a half right. The core game mechanics do resolve round throwing, but it's not, that's not what rights means here. I learned about this game from an ancient book. Let me briefly walk you through it. The traditional rules dictate that all participants in this game must be sitting down as part of the rites. Well, you must also adopt a special sitting posture, which I will not demonstrate for you at this time, since I don't have any questions here. Uh, from their sitting positions, the participants must follow the music's rhythm and throw the darts into distant pots. There are many ways to throw the darts in the pots, each with their own special names. For example, the first dart to land in the pot is called the first. If the subsequent dart also lands in the vessel, it's called a streak. If the dart hits the handles of the pot, it's called a piercing. If a dart is thrown through the neck before bouncing out of the pot, it's called a valiant. That's way too complicated. There's no way to remember all that. Don't worry, I just told you these are the traditional rules. But I have simplified them for everyone's convenience. Uh, anyway, all you need to know is that the goal is to throw as many darts into the pots as you can before time runs out. I'll make take care of the rest. That sure is simplified, right? I mean, the rule book does say that whoever tosses the most darts into the pot wins. As for the rules that require the loser to drink and write a poem, I can't really ask every player who loses to do all that now. Now can I? Uh, anyways, I'm almost done setting up the game. The holding pots are over there. I'll get you the darts momentarily. You can try it now if you're interested. Okay. Um. In 100 pace hurling rights, players can throw darts hitting any pot. A spot on the holding pots with darts will award points. Holding the throw button will allow you to aim, release the throw to throw the dart, hit as many holding pots as you can within time limit to score points. The challenge will end once the time is up or there are no more pots left in the field. Okay, so we can break them all. Uh, do you want to... Uh, yeah. Here are your darts and pots are over there. Mm. Rings of rights. Okay. Mm. This ordinary holding pot created by the organizer, which will award 25 points when hit. 
pots like pots are special holding pots created by the organizer will award 25 when hit for a short time after that you can fire off multiple darts consecutively by holding the throw button okay that's nice uh ring of rights a special item created by the organizer it throw if thrown darts pass through the ring to hit a holding pot the score gain will be doubled the ring will disappear after appearing for a while Okay, but that was enough. I guess I didn't get perfect, but that was plenty. Uh, Arjuna pot, Quaker pot. Beam off. I didn't pay attention to the last one. Uh, Quaker pot is a special holding pot created by Arjuna that will award 20 points when hit. The spots will explode when hit, destroying all holding pots in a fixed area. Uh, pot shattered by this will also count towards your score. Uh, agile pots are special holding pots created by organizers that will move between two points and award 60 points when hit. Uh, being not blocking, will obstruct thrown darts, uh, hit it a certain number of times to destroy it. Mm, nice. But I got enough already. Consuming pots are special holding pots created by Ron As you will constantly move and when in motion, you will touch other holding pots and start them within itself. Pots thus consumed will not grant you any points. Mm, a consuming pot needs to be hit multiple times consecutively to be destroyed. After it is hit 
three times in a row, it grows smaller. Each hit reward five points. Uh, each time consuming pot shrinks, you gain twenty points and destroy and complete reward a hundred. Damage. I don't like that one. That was enough already. I should have just hit that. Hiding pots are special. Hiding pots for the nice will appear at certain locations after a given period. Hiding pots will change position whenever they are hit and must be hit three times to be fully destroyed. The first hit will be over 20, 30, 40. However, if it's not destroyed anything at a certain period of time, it will be moved off the field. Okay. Oh, I didn't notice that one. That's fine. Uh, in 100 pace for the United Ritual stage, holding pods will constantly appear. Hit as many as possible, choose score points. After time runs out, the challenge will end. Uh, so, this is just for letter boards, letter boards. Let's see how many points we can get.
respect. Come on, hit it. I'm hitting it. I guess that was fine. Mm -mm. Okay, new items. I don't want to participate in a match or anything, but I'd like to see what's the highest score people got there. Well, not right now. No problem, I have everything set up. I just drop down. Okay, I thought that was just it. Uh, next one. Inspiration eruption. Uh, Buyus from Mostad seems to be thinking about something. Who? Oh, where? Uh, is it down here? Yeah. And this type of game sure is inspiring. Was new a new game? Traveler, good timing. I happen to need someone to play test my new game. Look here, I'm calling this Inspiration Eruption. Uh, it perfectly captures the entire process of how we poets create poetry. You mean drinking, drinking, more drinking? Enlighten me. <laughs> Hilarious. So, using wine to let one's creative juices flow is certainly a good idea. However, wine alone is not enough to inspire truly extraordinary poetry. Before we write a poem, we have to start by seeking out inspiration. Some like to travel, some prefer solitude, while others really enjoy using wine to simulate their creativity. This is the most challenging part, since we cannot pinpoint where inspiration lies. So most of the time, we feel like we haven't found our muse, and become anxious and depressed. But in truth, inspiration has already visited us and left its mark inside our heads without us even knowing. Uh, at the right juncture, we'll, they will come bursting out and take the form of a great poem, or a painting, or something else, and you can turn all that into a game. Of course, the process of making poetry is quite clear and easily understood. It just so happens that there are a few tabletop game designers in most that in interested in my idea. After some discussion and a few brainstorming sessions, we finally came up with Inspiration Eruption. You can try it right now if you're interested, play a few rounds, and maybe you become a poet yourself. Okay, the other guy explained the rules, you didn't. After the challenge begins, characters who defeat opponents are oh, just that. Within the mythic domains, we obtain inspiring crystal stacks. Inspiring crystals will rupture once every 40 seconds. When they rupture, they will unleash a shockwave within a fixed area of effect that deals immense damage based on the number of inspiring crystals stacks that currently on field character has. The shockwave damage will decrease further from the epicenter. While the inspiring crystal waiting to rupture, mythic nexus will appear in the domain. Such foes will be very tough and hard to defeat. Skill Use of the inspiring crystals so we waiting to rupture may aid you in defeating these opponents. It is after inspiring crystal rupture. If the mythic nexus has already been defeated, they will once again start to stack. If the mythic nexus has not yet been defeated, then the crystals will not begin to stack again, but the nexus will be weakened and no other opponents will spawn until it is defeated. After that happens, crystals will begin to stack again and opponents of various kinds will spawn once more. Okay. Water comes in many flavors to the discerning palate. Uh, so, do you want to find some inspiration? I'll give it a try. Sure thing this way, prepare to be inspired. 
Oh, I set up a party. Okay, so monsters. I mean, those are the ones that will be. Uh, 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 let me see. Mm, mm, mm. Well, obviously, I'm bringing Novelette. Um, he's being useful alongside him. But I guess I should bring Kazuha and somebody to create ice. She can create ice quickly. So I can make ruins and then keep me yeah. up. Mm, yeah, I think even those are, they aren't really immune. So we'll be fine. I just, oh, I won't have Zhongli's shield. I am usually keeping Novelas protected while attacking. Access denied. Fallen leaves adorn my silence. No, oh, so though the, the thing will get dead. Let the mighty be humble. Bow your head. And shroud. I hear everything. The tides beckon. Settle down. One with wind and cloud, wind strider. All hail. Let the mighty be humble. An oversight on my part. Huh. I'll uproot you. Cut. Be sanctified. Hmm. Bow your head. Ah, I'll bury oh, you. This is long overdue. No touching. Check, Fallen leaves. A door. The tides beckon. Points, score, time elapsed. Uh, the last time it takes to complete the challenge, the more opponents you defeat, the m more points you earn. But th th there's a limit of how many opponents there are, because I thought the time would end and it was based on how many enemies I defeated. Uh... No, I like to check. That for a second, yeah, it doesn't really tell me. I thought it would be endless enemies until the time ends. Okay, I better get shoot now. Yeah, but I don't think I really need uh, Kazuha now. Uh, um, no, 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 not you, her. No, I'm using the shield and stuff. Uh, maybe I, I better get Shogun next time. <laughs> Stabilize and shroud. Settle down. <laughs> Let the mighty be humble. Let's nip that in the butt. Oh, I will have order. Gather. Blaze over. The tides beckon. 
Nip that in the butt and shroud. This is order. Gather. Be sanctified. So I just have to, fin to finish the third one because there was just some elytros around. Yeah. Oh. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I don't get wet when using that. He's not Barbara. So I guess this would be more useful. Everything and shroud. Next, uh, same thing. Yeah, we're good. He's doing well. Mm -hmm. The ice one would be a bit slower to kill, but. I don't think this would be a big deal. Yeah! Illusion shattered! Bow your head. Yeah! Yeah! 
Let the mighty be humble. Silence. This is order. Gather. Shine down. <laughs> Can't see. Bow your head. The tide's beckoning. I will have order. Stabilize. Let the mighty be humble. I'll uproot you. Yeah. Solidify! Bow your head. Be sanctified. Settle down! There is no escape! And shroud! I hear everything. This is order. Inazuma shines eternal. Illusion shattered. There. You end up being actually faster than the others. Okay, I think they will end up being even faster than I expected. Uh, the last one. Main in painting prospects. Oh, I didn't read that. Uh, Battle for Monster appears to have something in on his mind. Oh, didn't even notice you here. The next painting is... Right, it's this one. What are you doing? There's something here. You are Inus. Your reputation precedes you. I heard so much about you from my colleagues and was wondering if you would grace this grand event. And as luck would have it, here you are, it is truly an honor to meet you. There are many things I wish to introduce to you, but before that, allow me to introduce myself. I am Bathlo, a painter. You should be quite familiar with this profession, no? But in addition to being a painter myself, I am also an art conser conservator. Uh, no matter what type of damage a painting has suffered, where it was burned, chilled on by rodents, rotted by molds or any similar matter. As long as it is in my hands, I can restore the painting to its original, most perfect state. But you lost information if it's chewed on by rodents or something. Restoring paints, do you just repaint them? No, of course not. Were I to just repaint them exactly as they were, that would be called copying. No. That's restoring. You'll not make a new one. What we art conservators do is restore a piece of artwork to its most original pristine condition. Every detail from the colors to the brush strokes, even the material of the canvas itself must be exactly the same as the original painting. That sounds complicated, but that sounds amazing. Isn't it? It takes exceptional painting skill, as well as uncommonly keen and detailed image per perception. Which is why... I simply haven't been able to hire many capable assistants. I mean, if a painter has both exceptional skills and keen perception of the smallest details, then why not just focus on their own work instead of helping restore that of other artists? 
Not to mention how this job doesn't pay well and how people often think of us as a bunch of copycats with mediocre skills. It should pay well. But every job needs to be done by someone, wouldn't you agree? Art is a precious thing and outstanding painting can carry history, stories and emotions. And of course, it's market value. No matter what others think, as an artist myself, I will not stand idly by and watch those paintings deteriorate. But, as I just said, this job doesn't pay well and is often misunderstood. Though I have been busy trying to recruit assistants, as you can see, as of now I'm still the only one doing the job. That's why I'm here today, I want to educate people about what an art conservator does and perhaps I'll be able to recruit a few more people this way. However, though I've yet to find an assistant, I have received numerous commissions to restore ancient paintings. So, those should be expensive. These old paintings come from Mount Stalin Liue. They include landscapes, figures, animals, and even crayon drawings from children. You restore crayon drawings too? Uh, in principle, as long as it's a painting, it's a valid commission. You don't have to accept every commission they send you. Besides, even a child's crayon drawing contains the hard work they poured into it. Who is to say it may not be their first step to becoming an artist one day? So, it's understandable that their parents would come to me for to restore it. Your expression says you haven't even managed to convince yourself. Do you know how to do crayon drawings? What? No, not at all. I am absolutely not exasperated by these sorts of requests. I just have to study crayon drawings a bit. Uh, Ignos, if you could, would you be willing to do me a favor? As you can see, I'm the only one here, but to start painting, I need to go out and find a relevant scenery painted therein. You need to go out and find the original scenery. That's quite a lot of preparation. Alas, indeed, not only that, I also have to do all kinds of research on materials relevant to the painting. For example, how the scenery and animals depicted look like at the time they were painted. Fortunately, the paintings I'm currently commissioned to restore aren't too old, so things shouldn't have changed drastically. I was about to head out to study the original locations, but as you know, the wilderness is a dangerous place for those more adept with the brush than the surge. That's why I like to ask you for you to find the relevant scenery for me. I'm not artistically gifted, aren't we? Uh, we just can draw, but we can do plenty of things here. Uh, no worries, I have already prepared everything that you need. I've done this before when hiring others to help me in the past. Look, this is a photo of the painting to be restored, and I have already marked the key landmarks in it. All you need to do is find the location, take photos of the marked objects with the cam this camera, and you're done. So we just need to take photos. That's right, but you ought to familiarize yourself with the paintings before taking the picture. You need to feel their aesthetics and artistic sense, let the, the paintings linger in your mind. As long as you understand the, them, perhaps you'll be able to sense the entire process of how these paintings were done while taking photos. Sketching, outlining, coloring, refining, refining the details. You mean like hallucination? Hallucinating, it does seem a bit much. Uh, you're correct. To me, art is a type of hallucination. What an artist must do is capture the hallucination in detail and express it objectively. Believe me, just study the photos I gave you and you'll surely feel the artistic hallucinations within. I entrust this task to you, Ignus, and I shall start on restoring these paintings right. And the next one is... Uh. Uh, once you reach a viewing point, you must select one of the three pictures that best correspond to the current viewing point and start looking for the missing scenery. After selecting a picture, you can move your camera to match the picture with the current scenery and look for any missing object, scenery objects. And once you have found certain objects, you can record them. Each picture will have two to three missing scenery objects, so when attempting to record them, you may have to adjust your viewing angle multiple times. 
Once all the objects have been recorded, the current picture will have its missing details completely filled in. Okay, that's interesting, but it seems to have nothing to do with this event. It could just be a new event separated. And uh, this part of the pain needs to be restored. And I'm so happy to see you again. Thanks again for helping me track down the original scenery with your help. Surely I can restore this pain more efficiently. Okay, I probably don't have to, to even report back to you, right? Okay, what we have here? Ah, those I have to unlock. Uh, okay, if you. Okay. Uh. Ah, it's... Oh, nice. So, it'll be... Seven. Twelve. Horse two. Nice. Come on. Uh, there. Uh, there. It just points me. The city of wine is sound. Yeah, but it starts with the town winery. Over. What's well, over? <laughs> oh, damn, it should have. Let me take a look again. I should have paid attention. Not that it's the winery, but where it was taken from. Uh, pictures uh, okay it's from the front and upwards so from there yeah maybe I shouldn't have jumped down here uh, hang on that is in the front come on it should be faster shoot get to the picture I want to see I mm. oh, no it's not the front no it's it could be here yeah it is a side I noticed the barrels over there So it is from here. <laughs> and I shouldn't have jumped down from there. Come on, just climb the freaking rock. <laughs> okay, it is from somewhere around here. No, that's too far. How do I set the thing up? No, those are the other quests already. How do I set that up? Ah, damage. Maybe... <sighs> damage. I probably do need to get there. We will start with this one. Should I start with the first one? Yeah, what about the others? Don't I have to complete the them as well? Okay. Yeah, in every picture they always draw perfectly. Uh, correct. The proportions and stuff. Uh, But the cathedral is here. Huh. Interesting.
Missão de Fall, head next location, continue searching. Which is? Couldn't you just make me a quest? Why do I have to go through? One, two, three, four, five, six clicks for to point me directly there. See, I was just there. And that was the first one in the list. All three of them should spawn at the same time. Nah, that hurt there. Okay, so there are plenty of things. Okay, let's just look around here. Uh, the other one was there. Currents nearby. Okay, <laughs> now that and that. Let's, let's just look on the map. Can I find the next one? Um, there. Uh, it's probably down there. Ah, my apologies. This heavy rain must be quite an inconvenience for you. Hmm, are those from that guy we used to meet here? one ah there over here 
Okay, now back to Mostat. Uh, uh, ah, there. Oh, is it up there? It may be up there. But I, no, I think it just be closer to the water. I don't have to wait for that to... Ah, the waterfall. I was trying to see the bridge. Uh, um... Where, where, where? There. Hmm. Case that one. I don't think the angle is quite right. And then there's the other staircase. Last one is there. I thought I'll have to. Go to each place and match the time of the day. And maybe some other condition like... I don't know, get a bore on the scene from what he was talking. That's quite far. That wasn't a uh, wide angle. Yeah, that looks like most that is Dragon Spine following this road. Mm, okay, the final ones back in most touch. Yeah. Should be able to keep them. Uh, 
where is it back in leeway yeah back in leeway hmm. well i suppose the first one from the previous set was in between I was actually trying to line up the porch over there. I like that one. And the final one. Kind of seemed to be Leo as well. But I'm not sure. Oh no, it's there. the gate ah uh. uh. I don't really see uh, teleport there. Wow. Yeah, I was finding a bit confusing, but... Wow, that was messed up. Ah, I'm back there. The tree... Where is the tree? The tree is far away. Uh, let me see most up there. Is that one? Ah, no, it's back there. Okay, now we did it all. Okay, I'm gonna go back to talk to this guy, just see if he mentions anything about completing the paintings. Many of the previous events, the recent events, have people. I like that one. I want the painting. Have people mentioning something or thanking us at least. Power pain is restored. In some, I'll have to again. Things are very much now. Okay, same thing. Farewell. So, what can we get here? That. And the things for equipment. Uh, Ballad of Boundless Blue. Azure Skies. I think 6 seconds left normal or charge attacks. Hit opponent, normal attack damage should be increased, uh, charge attack. Oh, that's... That's perfect for Novlet. That was probably made for him. Uh, an anthology of exquisite poetry. It contains quite a few points. One block, one starter. Uh, energy recharge. Actually, he got quite the energy recharge right now. If that was HP, it would be better for him. 
Can we... Oh, we can see like that. Ontology exclusive part contain quite a few points more more star concerning skies and the lines, such other topics. Hmm. Shouldn't it be from both? And it's then the Lyle bookmark. A specially refined material for ballad of the boundless blue. In many poems and tales, the lines are a symbol of unrestrained freedom. Traveling to faraway lanes, placing a bookmark. With the image of a dandelion within the pages of a book is not a form of confinement, but rather allowing it to wander in a world far vaster and brighter than our own. Yeah, well, but I probably don't have any ascension materials, any uh, crystals, because, yeah, I don't have that many. Uh, upgrading uh, fountain weapons, so I'm constantly spending crystals. And that's what I can do for now. And Let's upgrade it. There. No, it's not max level yet, so it wouldn't be that great. Uh, actually, what do I have on uh, Noblet? HP. Uh, Elemental Birds regenerates energy. Uh, and also regenerates his HP that he's spent. Yeah, that's quite good for him. Yeah, the other one seems to be good, but maybe not as good for him. Oh, there new stuff. Oh, one of those. Nice. Very well. Let's just try to get on Rousley. And not yet. Hang on, how many days? Um, 13 days. Okay, I, I got time. Okay. Uh, um, I guess it was about an hour. Yeah, so... Yeah, that's good for now, and I'm out.